I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This mod makes me hate history. Look at the border gore. Look at these provinces. What? The, what, what is this? What, what, what is that? Who? Who? Who are you to do this? What? What? You're in six different pieces. <laughs> It's just upsetting. This, of course, is Voltaire's Nightmare, an incredibly, unfortunately, historically accurate mod uh, focusing on Europe and uh, just the sheer quantities is quite frankly ridiculous. I remember when this mod was quite literally just kind of this section and England and France, for example, France specifically was just like this couple of provinces. So the fact that over the years I've watched it expand into this is quite frankly insane. There is a little side effect of Voltaire's Nightmare and that is, well right now it's about 4 degrees outside in Durham uh, and it's going to be about 65 degrees in here in about 5 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of more, there's a lot of provinces. Um, and has to run them. So today, I was considering playing as a horde. I might still do that uh, later on in another video. I was considering like forming Armenia or, or trying to focus on a region that isn't Europe. But I think a lot of people complain. So if people want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe and like the video. So I know you want to see specifically more of this or me continue a series like this. Uh, and I might look over at Armenia, for example. Uh, but for today, lads, let's dive right into the mess that is 15th century Germany. Now, for some context, um, today is, for me at least, the 22nd of November, I record these things in advance. And Tunisia, in about an hour, is going to be playing Denmark. Which means I'm going to be probably splitting this recording session in two. One before the game, one after the game. I'm either going to be incredibly happy afterwards, or I'm going to have a burning hatred of Boko and all of his videos. But that's, that's fine, <laughs> we'll see. So you already know what the score is, so look forward to the late that you know is coming. But for right now, I am breaking it. Okay. Back to you 4 because I, I th I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to hate me talking about uh, <laughs> football. Uh, we start with a fort over here. We we'll actually start with a decent amount of income. I just, I'm not looking forward to it in play. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Just look at that province. <sighs> Helenstein, believe me, is hell on earth right now. All right, we're going to build a spy network and go after Helenstein immediately. I reckon we're not going to be a free city for much longer. The fact you have to scroll this far <laughs> for arrivals. It's not a good indication that this is going to be a smooth uh, ride for us. So, Hellenstein, um, we're just going to rival the people who rivaled us, I think. Baden, or Baden and Ansbach. Uh, okay. Uh, this game has a bunch of different start dates. Obviously, not just EU4, but this mod specifically, meaning that we start with a lot of uh, technology already unlocked and a lot of ideas already finished. Looks like the mission tree has been extended, despite the fact that it hasn't stretched this far. We've just got a lot of it to... Is this for notes? <laughs> just... God damn, the size will state. That's what we're going to be going for. Can we form any Asians? The Dutch is Swabia. That's what we're going to be trying to do today, I think. Well, the South German Confederation. 75 promises. Ooh, what if I did like a big old series but I did Ulm into the South German Confederation? What if I try and form Germany? Don't say these things like... It's gonna take you 60 years to, to, on speed 5 without pausing just to get like what to 1450. Right, I think some fort defense and yearly corruption is a pretty good idea. Uh, I'm gonna grab myself some construction cost and time and also some lots of fabricate claims. Otherwise, we've almost finished our idea set and it's not the best. Uh, whereas, for example, Brandenburg has some decent ones. Teutons, to be fair, and the Poles. Anyway, let's stop getting distracted. Let's just, okay, take one last look at the global uh, situation because I want to be zooming in into South Germany and ignoring everything else. I have to scroll so many times. All right, see speed five, how fast it goes. It's actually not too slow. <laughs> oh, my PC. Hey, it's all right, girl. You're okay. <laughs> uh, it's not happy with this. Who's this next to me? Stuttgart and your hostile. I'm not looking forward to navigating the sheer web of alliances that I know is inevitable. All right, Duchess Swabia. Oh God, I've got to go through a lot of provinces. It's a bit and to take parts of St. Gallen as well. The old Zurich war. What the hell? Bit of a major war. It's a 5-1. It's not terrible. Build roads. Ooh. Is that a special builder? No. <laughs> How do I build a road? Build roads. Road network at least three. How do I get road network? Uh, am I being dumb? In inevitably, yes. But how am I being dumb? Great. Ulm just loses its... <sighs> All right. Let's prevent a crisis. But Ulm just took a hit. <laughs> Spectacular. All right, who are you allied with? Allen and Stuttgart. That's Stuttgart and Allen's there. Okay, so I could probably take out two of you. Ooh, right, this plan can't be good. Inevitably, I'm going to need some burger loans. I think I need to get a claim on the other one as well. First of the month, we're going in. Ulm is no longer a free city. It is an expansionist state. Take Hoidner. Go. There's your first stack wipe. And there's your second. And our general is dead. This is bad okay do you think i can i can pretend he's not dead until we get the stack wipe okay yeah we can now issue is do we have enough 
men to stand one on every province. I don't believe that we do. So what we need to do is send a guy around, sit on each province to make sure they're not building anything. Ah, uh, get another military candidate. And let's turn him into a general immediately whilst our administration is at its highest. Oh, a 2-4, absolutely. We'll take that. You only have one province, right? It's also prudent to tell you that Saudi Arabia are beating Argentina. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably should have co-belligerent with you. Well, actually, no, I'd have had to have fought. Oh, sorry, what's that guy's name? Gamund. That's not a real place. That, I'm not I'm not having that. I don't believe for a second there's a place called Gamund. I just realized we can't actually siege this guy's capital. Are you a free city? No, you're not. But you are bordering me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to need some cash from you. Well, apparently, you won't give it to me. Well, fine. I'll go stand on everyone else's provinces first. And then and then I'm sure you'll reconsider. Let me get rid of this advisor now. We don't need him anymore. 33% possession. <laughs> Uh, all right, Tyrol has a lot of allies. You have one ally, so I could probably go after you next. Why does they only have 5,000 troops? I, well, I suppose it rounds down. I gotta wait for Stuttgart to go down to low, and then I can probably get some stuff off them. Specifically cash. Love a bit of money. I am in debt. Uh, I can't get everything from them, but enough. All right, Stuttgart, thank you very much. This dude, uh, end your rivalries, I suppose. Your war operations. I'll do. Come on, just give in. What would be really cool is an option in E4 where you could sort of uh, face the choice that a lot of besiegers faced, which was um, to sack a city or not to sack a city. So, for example, here it says like, oh, you know, the garrison were allowed to march out keeping their flags and arms. And that happens every single siege. Historically speaking, you had one of two options, right? You either give in uh, and let them in and hope that they don't do anything too bad. Um, or you try and hold out and the understanding is that they will probably sack the city. It'd be cool if as if like there was some sort of like reputation mechanic where you could choose to sack the city or not if they surrender. And the more you sort of sway one way or another, you can start to influence things. So, for example, people are more likely to resist you because they know that you're going to come in and burn everything. Um, or they're more likely to if, they, if it's like overwhelming odds, they're more likely to give in because they know that you'll burn everything. I, I think it'd be kind of cool to have that sort of uh, dynamism. Um, but I don't think that's going to be available in EU4. I'm thinking more... EU5. And I think as a, as a community, we should be pushing for EU5. <laughs> don't harass anyone, please. No, don't, don't like, <laughs> please don't, because otherwise it looks really bad on me. Don't, yeah, don't harass people. Um, but it would be, it would be nice to actual timelines, you know? Um, I know for a fact, because I was at PDXCon where they were saying that uh, the next, uh, and this was publicly announced, it wasn't like secret, um, that the next DLC is going to look at, for example, um, potentially uh saudi arabia saudi arabia <laughs> south america not saudi arabia <laughs> uh, you picked up a bunch of allies didn't you jesus you don't have any allies let's just immediately march in here if i attack them they're a free city then let's not do that and instead just march in this is a big problem for them <laughs> oh man i need access through you and then also through you thank you very much march on him and murder him what the hell is this failed administration i we're about to lose all of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Because you can't go negative into reform. God, it'd be nice to get a positive event. Jesus. All right, let's start picking our targets. The issue is they're so similar looking. It's, it's rather tricky to pick out a singular target. Also, I'm pretty sure Tyrol is way more powerful than I am. That, I mean, I'd be lying. Apparently, they're not that strong at all. That's a free city. That's a Prince Abbasi, so that's not a free city, so that's good. And you are a Prince Abbot as well. Different government types are really cool. I, I think government types are the most like unique thing in this game. I, I think they're, yeah, I'm a big fan. This must have taken so long as a map for me just to come in and be like, wow, this province sucks. <laughs> but to be fair, this province is split into three. That is nasty. Although with Victoria 3, they have shown that um, they're able to sort of split states dynamically, what with the uh, colonialism uh, mechanic where people sort of like come in and uh, split land together. It would be kind of cool to, to see that a little bit with uh, with these kinds of things. And then we can get sort of semi-realistic uh, borders instead of having sort of like set provinces that never change. Um, but I don't know how that would work in terms of U4's like system of development. It works obviously in, in Victoria 3. But what works for one game can't work for every game. But what works for us is the fact that we've just taken over this land. I didn't take money from the other guy. That's my bad. Turning into a bit of a powerhouse here. Going after Stuttgart next could be a plan. Although these like Prince Abbots are ripe for the taking. <laughs> Fullendorf and Beirut. I know that one. Hellfellstein. Probably the Hellfellstein one. Because I can hit Memming easy right at the start. Alright, we'll be outnumbered. I'm actually so pleasantly surprised with how well this uh, mod's running. I mean, it freezes now and again, but to be fair, when I first started playing Voltaire's Nightmare, or first ever played it, I should say, it ran about, I mean, it was damn near real time. It was that slow. Alright, murder Memmingen, and then let's go to the Ochenhausen. 
And then this Helfer Steinen. Kind of hard to tell if the AI is actually declaring any wars because I'm not seeing any occupations at all. Is everyone just a piece? There's going to be one war going on. What the hell's going on? Ah, no, there's a war. Okay, good. I thought there was something bugged because I didn't see any wars whatsoever. I think there's just such an intertwined chain of alliances that the AI is sort of a bit nervous to declare war. Experience troops. There's plus 10% morale in total and also army tradition. This is the kind of good events I was asking for. Keep our dude in place. I don't know. What are you? Oh, he's a conqueror. Okay, exactly what we need. Because we are, in fact, conquering. On those both at the same time. Wonderful. All right, so you have allies. So I want to get rid of your allies. Right, the emperor hasn't actually called me out on my... Uh, antics. He's sort of just chilling. And Ingolstadt could be a fun one to fight. Uh, nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Because they're so split that you look at one province, you're like, it's a one province minor, I can take him. And then you forget about, for example, the rest of them. Look at Tyrol, I'm like, mm, two provinces, I kind of need to start heading south. And then you zoom out a little bit and you're like, oh, Tyrol is bigger than I could ever be in uh, three lifetimes. It is warming up quite nicely in this room, I have to say. I always found gaming in the winter. That's the smart play. Heat up your house for, well, more expensive than he I suppose. <laughs> All right, Memian, we can take money from and we'll get rid of their alliances just because we can. I'm not gonna be able to fight them and take their stuff anyway. And we take this one province. There we go. Well, who are you? Waldberg. I know with a couple of guys around here, but should be fine. Bibrak, our free city. Going off to Stuttgart, probably an idea. Let's start moving into that direction. What do I need to do to form Swabia? Things that are nowhere near me. I need to keep crawling my way south. I'm gonna have to fight Tarol eventually. Augsburg stat. I'm not a free city. Oh. oh, I don't have to fight Styria. How many men do you have? I mean, you're a prince abbacy that's quite close to me. That's only allied to one guy, specifically Munich. That sounds good to me. Iraq is actually pretty big. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Austria appears to be getting taken out by Hungary. A nice little reversal of fortune. What's that war for? Oh, it just ended. <laughs> I assume territory? There was some red text there that I didn't read. But I feel like I probably should have. What is that? Is that a lake? Do I own it? I can't tell. If they are a primitive tribe and we are not, this action will be meaningless. Well, I'll use everyone as a primitive tribe, so I suppose it is meaningless. We'll go off to Isni for Super Rack. What's Isni? Why, would I, why did I say Isni? Is something around here called Isni? They allied to Isni? Yeah, they're allied to Isni. Okay. I was like, where the hell did I pull that name from? Provided we're diligent, uh, we, should, we should easily win this. I think that's Three allies? Yeah, I numbered quite a bit. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it anyway. What about you? Do you have any allies? We're a Prince Abbacy. Then I guess we're gonna have to. I don't know though. I, there was like something in there about wait and see. I don't know. I'm really forcing the puns there. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just nervous about the Tunisia Denmark game. I've also got to watch the uh, Australia Tunisia game, which is on my birthday. So that's either gonna be an extreme. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a wonderful birthday, or it's or I'm gonna unalive myself. Um, just marching. Right. Where's Munich? Isn't that quite far away? Ooh. That's a big boy. Did not realize I declared war on that. I'm going to wait and just get the, the thing first. The seed done. And then we'll think about going after them. Because uh, something tells me they're going to start building a bunch of troops. I've actually only got 5,000. Mm, access wise, I think I just need... Well, if I can get access here. So if I get access through Tyrol and then Augsburg, it would make my life rather easy. I'll just go stand on his capital and just siege it down. He's got no siege pips though. Um... <laughs> Rudiger Falkenberg has one though, and a few others to boot. Right, let's get our access through Tyrol. Let's go straight for his. That almost ended very poorly indeed. Oh god, we don't have any man power. I'm hoping he's not going to come back and fight me, and he's just going to go for my territory. I leave the access open. He should hopefully go that way. We've got to chill. France are preparing to attack Burgundy. I don't think I want to interfere in that. You know, there's not much time for wish to have interfere. I just, I just. <laughs> I don't see that one going too well for me. Play the next tech, thank you very much. And we've got our cleanse on Biberach. Biberach. I don't, I don't speak German, man. He did go for my capital. Wow, I do know the AI in this game. I'm not a fool. Well, <laughs> times. Come on, 57%. I don't have the manpower to maintain this for a while. Excellent. Albrecht is going to stay in charge. And we've taken the Munich capital, giving us a decent knock of war score. For some reason, he doesn't care that we've seized his wife and kids. He is just throws him away. He has full access to my capital. I don't know why he's gone for the fort. Okay, access through Ingolstadt, who are apparently oh, okay, the junior partner of Landshut. I thought it said something about Palatinate there. Their independence is being supported by them, but nothing more. Go nip in and murder them here. We do get the stack wipe. A little bit of extra territory. Right, and there is our war operations and our cash. Thanks for playing. Also, you have a terrible flag and you should feel bad about it. I actually know it's a little dude. Having a great time. I apologize. That's a legendary one. I thought it was just a random ass cross or an M for Munich. Right, now we definitely need to rest up. Dude, I do not want an alliance with you. Stop sending it. It's like the sixth one he sent. Let's see how the rest of the world's getting on, shall we? Uh, France is taking out Burgundy. It's so big that, like, surely a battle barely ever happened. How long it takes me to scroll out? What's England up to? Uh, 
It's wonder if mine happened, I think. But I think that it's they start uh, without mine. As I think there's not enough like subject types in EU4. Um, because Provence at this point, for example, Burgundy at this point, uh, technically, I like they were autonomous, but they still owed fealty to France. Or even a couple years back, which obviously is before the start of the game, so the so EU4 doesn't have to deal with it. Um, the Norman kings of England actually owed fealty to France for their territory in Normandy. So it's, it's kind of, you know, a bit all over the place. Whilst I wait for my manpower tick up, to tick up, I will be watching the end of the Argentinian Saudi Arabian. <laughs> Thanks. I feel bad because there's going to be a lot of videos where I'm recording, but I'm also just like watching football at the same time. <sighs> oh no, our king died. Uh, we need a, a bureaucratic candidate. The Saudis are just trying to time waste, and I respect them for it. Oh, I've got a trade for you. No. I'm just watching the man. If Messi hadn't gotten his foot out of the way, he'd have been killed just then. You know what? Screw it. We'll integrate into the video. I want all of this kept in. Sometimes if it's interesting. And uh, and and I want to I wanna see what people in the comments, who they think is going to win the World Cup. I think it'll be quite funny. I've right, got some separatists. I don't know, Few thousand, so it's fine. Our right, manpower is starting to come back now, so we can start to think about conquest. Game really slowing down now. Looks like France won, and they uh, have taken a nice little chunk out of Burgundy there. Does Burgundy inheritance work the same way? If so, well, I'm <laughs> not a monarchy lady. You can't royal marry. Damn it. Hungary now going after the other Austria. All right, we're gonna start thinking about where we're headed next. We're gonna start making way down south. I do need to fight the sheer quantity of allies. Right, we're gonna have to find another way around through this guy, I suppose. He's allied to Tyrol though. Tyrol just surrounds me. And we're gonna have to fight him, right? Eh, we'll go after you, why not? And the dude that only has one ally. Did you get more allies? Right, I need a new guy because this guy doesn't have very good traits. Let's see, what about this one? Discipline, wonderful. Well, you are now gonna be ruling our nation for as long as you live. Do I just, maybe I just, no, there's no way I can go after Tyrol. I think I need to fight Tyrol. Oh, it's gonna be a rough war. Oh, Bohemia is now the new emperor. And the Italians have left the HRE. Meanwhile, Byzantium still exists. They still have Constantinopolis. I just don't feel comfortable doing it with 2,000 manpower. Ah, well, no time at the present, eh? More than double. Oh, um, oh, man, that's fine. I should probably have checked where their troops are. That's Tyrol, Tyrol, that's more Tyrol. So where are the other ones? Tyrol, Tyrol, more Tyrol. But, but I don't know who else I'm at war with. Constance is Alebron. Ooh, that's nine. We're gonna need the free company either way. So let's pick them up now. And let's get ourselves my favorite feature in the game, indebted to burgers. It's basically just free money. Mm, okay, Tarala is a two-star general. I need to murder these troops because that's one of the free companies ending up. Does he have a siege guy? He's got two siege. Yeah, he'll win uh, that siege race. All right, I need to recover on morale a little bit. Well, now I'm at war, the game's nipping real fast. But I think it's just because it takes such little time. Look, it takes one day to get to a province. I think that they've made the provinces, the province distance a lot smaller. We need to tempt them out somehow. That seems to have worked, but let's not forget. Yeah, okay, don't come in. Okay, cool. <laughs> sure, that works. We'd be dead if it wasn't for Rudiger. All right, nip in and murder you. And now, thank you for standing in line. It's like when the uh, main boss um, and all his minions come at you one at one, uh, one by one. So, we've got 20%. We can't take out Tyrell's capital. I really should have thought this through. That's national manpower. We've always got to go national manpower. I think we're going to have to take the debt on the chin. Take a load of debt. Hire more mercenaries. Anyone got any siege pips? Literally no one. Cool. Oh, there's one here. It's going to be expensive. And we're going to be losing a lot of money. We're going to be pushing bankruptcy this entire time. But we need to run down his capital. And apparently kill some men along the way. Okay, well, before we do that, we need to go and finish these guys. Please be a stack wipe. Somehow. Our stats are really good. All right. Now we go for his capital. <laughs> Talk about indecisive. <laughs> Sprinting backwards and forwards. All right, if I can take out these troops here. How much money are we losing? Oh, God, 17 ducats. Because I can't really enter into a siege race because every time I lose a province, I'm losing all of that income, ah, which is really, really bad. And Tyrol's big enough such that they don't care too much that their capital's been taken. They are fighting Hungary, though. But then again, so is everyone else on the planet. Oh, Granada's been taken out. Debdu! <laughs> what a fantastic name. Debdu! <laughs> I want to play as them just because they're called Debdu. Yes, now's the time to fight me. Really? Oh, God, it was the only non-mercenary stack as well. So inconsiderate. All right, that is a mountain problem. So we should be able to hold Isnabrook for a while. Whilst they are away, I can nip in and nick all these provinces. The fact that the mountains should mean that I can hold them off if we get surprised. I don't think we will get surprised, though. We've been surprised! <laughs> They turned up! I'm just gonna charge into the mountains. We should be fine because he doesn't have a leader. To negate a lot of the damage, especially in the shock phase. There we go. I think that was the right choice. And once again, we need to rush back home to our capital. This is a 
Mm, tricky little war here. Taking large swathes of Tyrol, but I don't know how much it's going to be worth it. I need their money. That that would make this worth it. Because we've shown that we can beat Tyrol. So I'm no longer too worried about their, them being allied to people that I know. Also, they've made very questionable decisions like leaving. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I think it's time for us to peace out. They are on low. Okay, they are on low, which does make them want to accept this. Okay, good. Your war operations as well. Certainly we could, but I don't think it's necessary. I, I just want the money. We've lost 18,000 men. Okay, so... That should keep us afloat for a little bit longer. We're at war with you down there and then you up there. Do you think we could threaten? Because we can't actually take his capital for. But we might be able to nip in, murder his troops down on his capital, and he might peace out. Talking about uh, Helebron. Let's see. Hopefully his troops are there. They're there though. Murder his troops. Helebron's on low. Masterclass of diplomacy, that. I taught Von Bismarck how to, how to do things, boys. Never forget that. Master statesman that I am. That's a horrible parling route. All right, let's nip in and murder that lot. The difference is this one province I could probably ask for military access. It's so unnecessary for me to go that long way around. That's, those are troops you want to deal with. Uh, please tell me I've left my, yes, excellent. So I can do this, shift consolidate. Leave behind the zero strength regiments and march in to murder these troops. No, I wasn't sieging that. To, okay, he, he killed all my zero strength regiments. <laughs> the tactical genius that I am. <laughs> Can't believe I compared myself to Bismarck. I said I taught Bismarck. Uh, to be fair, Bismarck wasn't a general. He was a statesman. So, yeah. <laughs> My point still stands. Also, I need to get rid of this uh, this lot. I can pay back most of my loans. Still have some. He's unconditional, but I need more money. Ready for ducats, war reps, and I'd like my prestige to be a bit higher. And there we go. Now we take this province. Bada bing, bada boom. And that, boys, is how you take a <laughs> three development province. What I have simply can't be taught. When five wars against non-Catholic countries. Pretty sure they're Catholic, mate. I mean, I'll take the buff before it disappears. Well, that seems like a bug. All right, let's rest up again. So I've been excitedly talking for the past, you know, 25, 30 minutes or so. Only to realize they never actually started recording again. So uh, to recap, uh, Tunisia drew with Denmark. Very pleased. My heart was pounding at the end of it. Um, very tense game. Uh, Bar secured the union over <laughs> Burgundy. Um, and the princes were released. I did a little bit of conquering, just one or two places that I pointed out I was going to conquer, um, like Biberac. And we're about to upgrade our government rank to county. So we were a city, and now we're a republic. Go ahead and rival Tyrol and wait for that. Buying them is going to be tricky, but I think we can manage. We need to start getting south anyway. Uh, Brigens, is that? Brigens, and also I need one of these territories. So just Tyrol, isn't it? You're not a free city, are you? No. So many little provinces and ugh, it was a bit redundant to sort of say that over and over again but it's all my mind can process it was duck it's been cursed with poor events this entire game yeah, we're gonna need a lot of territory from to roll so that looks like it's mine but it's not like i look a lot bigger than i am mainly because everyone else around me is white are you a free city no you're not so you have a bunch of allies but that should be fine go ahead and get stabilize the nation find the capital i'll help with our income has anything else been happening it looks like the ottomans are taking out venice <laughs> we keep scrolling oh, well are hungry hungry's taking out transylvania debdu's still good excellent to see how's gustav doing there's no gosla also i found out the palatinate's not called the palatinate this takes so long they're called the pals graviate and Venice um, is a bit more accurate to what it actually was, which is a uh, lagoon, well, an island in the middle of a lagoon. And I know, because I've been. I wrote a paper on that. Actually, is it, is it? I think it's still a port. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's still a port. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> it's just turned into an advertisement for Venice. Now, let's get some claims on Tyrol. Or a claim on Tyrol. We're going to need to start heading eastwards, and we also need this one. We've got even more allies since our last check. All right. Well, we, need, we do need to fight it. We've got 10,000 manpower, a decent amount of income behind us, a good set of miltech we're 37 he's 39 sorry other way around 25 so we're outnumbered three to one no point really slackening oh max manpower should be manpower banking that's a that's a bit meta to be honest who are we fighting against uh, a couple of people close to us north we could probably take out the, the northern lot first we just suffer because we don't really have a siege guy we now have a siege guy provinces are like small but they take such little time to traverse also we conquered a fort down south which should Oh, all immediately. Maybe we can get there. Yeah, apparently we can. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Wonderful. Oh, Jesus. I can't. <laughs> Speed five is fast, but it's slow, if that makes sense. This is an interesting thing. Try to ease the tension. Or, I've never seen this before, because he's silver-tongued. Uh, everyone gets plus 80 opinion. It's pretty insane. The issue is that... Oh, God, I just got that back. Yeah, like I said, these provinces are rather small. And so it's really easy for them to just come and pick me off. Uh, 11v11. And we have better tech. That's a better discipline. How? Pire de cool. Did we get ourselves an advisor? And it's that time of year, boys. No, I don't mean Christmas. I mean burglums, which is basically like Christmas. Only you have to give them presents back. It's like a really sad Christmas. I'll upset myself. And on. Um, conquer new states, sure. Can we get ourselves an advisor now? No. It costs how much? 
Two ducats. Roggenberg, this one. I'm, at, I'm sort of got the mindset that I'm not going to be able to take him out here. And instead, we kind of just got to play for these little battles. We leave a thousand men behind, combine our forces, smash them so they can't consolidate, inflict heavy losses, and then lay it. What? Where'd you go? Very roundabout way of running. Still thinks my thoughts are on defensive. There they are. I've had defensive in the edict this entire time. Okay, I don't need it right now. I might need it later. I will probably need defensiveness on this. I'm thinking it would come out. God, that's a lot of people, but not that many troops. And I was right. <laughs> all right, don't let them consolidate, boys. Do I have to go all the way around? Apparently I do. And we've been attacked. Wonderful. Worth just hitting that fort because we should have a better general. He's got a 2-2. Two, two. We've got a 4-5. Love that guy. And uh, and it is in the woods. Okay, I need to go to this province first and then shift to that one. And apparently we're fighting. So that was a very good play. All right, that siege is complete. I think I've got to hit this lot. And they led us, which is excellent because... Oh, is that stack wipe? And that should be another stack wipe because they don't have a general. Okay, they have one now. Let's finish this off and pray they don't get that fort win. Weirdly enough, we should be able to make it. It's only like a day between each of these provinces. So we just go do da, 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 da. Excellent. Where to next? I'm tempted to go to the mountain because I can't have a protracted war like this. Uh, oh, well, there was an army there. Wonderful. Uh, I do want to be taking territory to the Duchy of Swabia. So we need that territory and we also need access to this one. So we need that as well. Just straight up take all this land now. It's very tempting and a bunch of cash. Let me just do it. I don't really see what we're going to benefit from being in this war any longer. He's on mediums. So we can knock him down to low, I suppose. He's, he's close to low. I think we're just going to lose more money than we can gain from this. Still, it's, um, uh, I'm pretty sure my, my 3k can beat his 3k. My 4k, I should say. Hmm. Could nick a bit more score, I suppose. Not like they're moving around like that. Their war enthusiasm has actually gone up, which is not what I wanted to see. I will happily fight them in the hills, though. Just because I like godlike generals there. He's made this run so much easier than it should have otherwise been. Right, I'm going to risk it a little bit and start running around the place. It could go very poorly indeed. Or it could go very well. <laughs> we have no way of knowing. Just knocking it down to low would mean a lot more cash. I personally like cash. Big fan of the stuff. Can you imagine if I was sponsored this video? It'd be great. What a segue. Speaking of cash, this mountain range is horrible. Okay, what if I get access through you. Oh, brilliant. That makes life so much easier. Thank you so much. That's painful. This is what happens when you stretch too far. And they are finally down to low, which means we can eke out a bit more cash. Okay, that might have been worth it. I was about to sit here and lament how it wasn't excellent. Does that pay off for my loans? It does. Wonderful. And some leftover. That gives us lots of lovely new territory. Don't surprise me, Will. Okay. Now I need you. You're a free city. These free cities are going to be tricky. That's going to suck to take. Can we get a claim on this? Is this another free city? Is it no uh, no, it's not. Brilliant. What else do we need? Oh, let's start heading west. Can I have a claim on you? Yeah, I do. Fortunately, slackening is always in our arsenal, meaning manpower is decent. I don't think the AI actually slackened. Looks like the Ottomans are cleaning up. Have they taken the Byzantines? No, the Byzantines are still alive, and it looks like they still hold Constantinople. Nice, a 34 development province. For context, our overall development is 106. That's a third of our entire nation. But oh, you can actually see, like, if you zoom out a little bit now, I suppose the bonus of like all these provinces being one, like three development, uh, is that they are easy to take. But it looks like these guys are under us, but they are not. Take out the white ones. Wow, that sounds really racist. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. Some more bigger there, fortunately. Plus 50% morale of armies. We need, we need to get going with that then. It's hard to think just honestly utilizing mercenaries because I, I have a lot of downtime just waiting for this manpower to pick back up. Did you get another ally? Dude. Right. Let's get ready to march in here. Straight in, but we're going to detach a guy and have it siege one. And honestly, we have missed our opportunity to stack wipe. Oh, it's because Fullendorf is here. So they're protected by that fort. Okay. 38, 39. We've got tech 40. To be fair, the tech 40 isn't that important. Well, having said that, there are cannons now, which I think is a good idea to get our hands on. But yeah, well, do that. But back to defensiveness. Oh, no. Old age. That's not good. You know, all these things don't matter too much. What the hell is up with our army tradition? A 5-6-5-2. Five, five, <laughs> sure, I'll take it. Okay, they killed my cannons because I was taking a drink. That's what I mean, like, speed 5 is really slow, but then also super fast because the provinces are small. All right, we're going to need to slacken some more. I'm tempted just to slacken all the way because I'm going to need mercenaries anyway. Well, let's at least get the two sets of cannons. Could have been three, but uh, mistakes were made. Who are the... Oh, God, Trent's actually kind of big. That's annoying. Just every time I hire mercenaries, I have to sacrifice five army um, tradition. No, not tradition, professionalism. Which is rather annoying, because I need that for, like, you know, good fighting of my troops. Wow, that was... I must be tired. <laughs> Will you just peace out, Fendorf, if I just take out your troops? I didn't mean to fight that. Don't understand why I couldn't just, you know, move straight across, considering I occupy the fort. But I might be able to get you to leave if I stack up you, which I do. Over here, super peace, no. Doesn't need to happen like this. I reckon the play from now on is just... Don't take every province. We could take these three, for example. I'm gonna just gonna do that. There's no need, like, it only costs like 
40 um, war score instead of like having to fight all these things damn near to the death. Frequent elections. The corruption is quite good. Go, oh, the corruption. Actually, average monarch lifespan because we always get them up there, but then they die. So we can get them to a 6-6. Six, six. So this guy should live to about 70, hopefully. Absolutely taking quantity ideas. Thank you for the manpower. That's like the main limiting factor we have right now. Right, sure, rival in Austria, boys. All right, and we're going to try and take the province that we need. Access through you would be great. And then we need access through you. And then access through Tyrol, who does not want to give us access. To be fair, does give us a chance to kill all of his friends who are on the other side of the... Okay, well, Tyrol will give access eventually. There you go. <laughs> and thanks to our two siege general and our two cannons, we should rip through these sieges quite easily. Unfortunately, this appears to be a one province minor, so we can't just sneak in and grab the province and leave. As much as I would love to. Just whizzed away. Who else we find? Uh, it looks like they're all in the mountains. Okay. <laughs> so great to watch us just like... You ready? Fetch! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Catch it, boys. It's like watching um, coins fall down one of those like coin machine things. Yeah, we'll beat them in the siege race. There we go. 70 days. My lip is stuck on my tooth. Ow. What the hell happened there? My lip like fused to my teeth for a second. I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> that really hurt. All right, who else we got? Is it these two left? Nip round. We're going to have to blow this one up. Stop them from winning that siege first. I can't make it a core, apparently. We're going to have to look to make him a vassal then. That should be enough. 85%, 86% on low. Minus one. One more battle will do it. Come on, we just need to find that battle. Yeah, we'll find the mountains. Or hills, even better. Excellent. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, I actually need this province. I should have gone for this one first then. Gosh, you have a lot of allies. Okay, there's that province that I need. And the two away. But to be fair, if I take this province, then it's this one I need next. We killed the trade league. And let's get a guy in prune relations with this guy. We're going to need to annex you at some point. And we're out of that <laughs> Could you just not rise up? More exhaustion is the big thing. And obscurantism. How long is it obscured? How long does obscurantism last? We've got stable government, which is also helping us. Where is he? Obscurant. 87, two years. Yeah, they'll rise up before then. And power recovery speed. Yes, please. Mm, screw it. We'll disappoint the estates. Let's just go straight in. Ah, military access. Almost lost five stability there. Thing is, as far as I can tell, it doesn't give you an advantage to declare war on someone when you have military access. I'm pretty sure it still exiles you. If it doesn't, then I can see it. But I don't see why it would cost you five stability. That's worse than just not having a reason to declare war by an order of like 2.5. Which seems a, a tad strange to me. I want to finish off administrative ideas. You know, there's a capital fort, we should win it faster than they win any of their sieges. Our troops are actually pretty good. Uh, it helps that I've been like heavily investing into Miltech. Aggressive expansion impact minus 10%. Yes, please. There we go. 205. Murder you. i got to be wary because I attacked nine and I had nine. Assuming it would be an easy victory. But obviously, we've only got seven fighting troops there. The rest are cannons. Back row, which are not going to help us at this point in time. 82%. We're minus three away. One more battle should do it. Well, it has to be this one, doesn't it? Is it? Is it just that province, that Noiken Chans? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, brilliant. We're going to need to... Ah, oh, it's Tyrol. We're going to have to fight them again to be able to annex. We did this for a reason. So we grab hold of you. Hmm. Defensive August, that sounds good to me. Fort defense plus 25%. And we need to go deal with these Burgauer separatists. How many releasable tags? I don't even want to think about that. Please don't tell me. No one tell me. I don't I don't want to know how many nations there are in this game. I don't want to know how many people. Oh god. When did I say to rule by election? Oh yes. No, sortition. Yeah, damn it. Mm, I completely completely misplayed that. Oh well. We had a like 655 for a good long years. I need one of these provinces. And then two here. Oh god, but they're intertwined, so I have to take after a war against Oh, they're not the same nation. Okay. That's good. I still need to fight Tyrol for this province and also this province to get to that province. Then it's the big boy over there, which is going to suck. Right, I only need the one province. So if I rush for your capital... Oh, I have to shift to fight you. Um, capital 4 as well, so I can't just blitz it. Bar announces as a new rival. What? <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Please don't win that. Oh, for God's sake. All right, we have a few separatists. Um, I might be able to nip in and just take the province now. Nope, 4. I have to take, I have to take the 4, don't I? Okay. All right, well, let's isolate this guy at least because he's who I have to go after next. In fact, I don't think... Let's just white piece. How long it takes to get through five years is a, it's a long ass time, so... I'm oh, sorry, there's every point in rushing it. Gain the stability. Wonderful. Been really good with the stability. Um, all right, we want that province. I can't take that one. Uh, yeah, that's the province we need, so let's take it and then fabricate a claim on you. And then what do you reckon? I mean, it, let's wait... For, let's let's not do the Tower of War until we're ready. Um, and by that, I mean until we have this province so we can fight both for that. The provinces we need now, if we just need Bresigal, Hirschberg, Augsburg, and Bresigal. Okay, Bresigal's easy. That one's there. That one's there. Is it also a tributary or just we have to own it? Uh, we have to own it. So we need to take these two provinces as well. And then it's just this. We still don't know how we're going to do it. I think I need to... Basically, I need to death war it for five years. If I occupy it for five years, we'll win. But it's going to suck because we have to fight against the entirety of Bohemia. And all of his friends. Wait, is it all of his friends or just... I think it's his friends as well. Um, well, let's... 
get a claim on him anyway, but that's going to be a hell of a war. Well, all right, this one's going to be a little bit rough, but we'll see what we can get done here. Barrage it, of course. I'm going to attempt to push the pace. Show one out of here. So we need these two. Oh, right, I was meant to fight these guys first. Ooh, I could still fight them. Okay, I have to fight the other one. I, I misplayed and now I have to make up for it. Right, let's go fight you lot. Chase everyone away. Or, you know, murder them. Our stats are marginally better than Tarl. Obviously, our general is uh, insane. Our ruler has three siege, so let's get him involved. Brixen's declared war on Tyrol. That's brilliant, because they're on that side of things. That's super helpful, man. <laughs> Group up our troops so people don't get sent in, because I accidentally sent in a thousand cannons on their own initially. You don't want to do that. Top tips with Lathe. Don't send in your cannons alone. <laughs> Negative four away. Okay, if I take another province, would you then be sad? We're lucky to not lose that siege. Yeah, he'll give it to us. Wonderful. Is it just that province we need? I think it's just this one and, and Brezegal means that we can take Brezegal. All we need to do now is actually take Brezegal. <laughs> Hopefully his troops are distracted uh, kicking the hell out of Brixen or getting the hell kicked out of them. Brixen is a weird nation that's split into like uh, four, but that's one province. So they're technically split into two provinces, which are but look like four provinces. I don't know, man. Okay, we're negative eight away from what we need. Damn, that's a decent amount of war score. And he will, in fact, let us peace out here. All right, excellent. That's everything we need. We need to annex this guy. And then, well, and then, how the hell are we going to do this one? Current, oh, look at how many ranks there are. Okay, so it goes county, margrave, duchy, principality, kingdom, and empire. Trent's declared war on Tyrol as well. We've really opened the door to Tyrol's death here. I'd say I feel bad, but I... I I don't. Sizable state. Look at that. Love me some diligence do it. The defining character trait of I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> the South German Federa Confederation requires a lot of territory. Okay, what do you have here? So, Sangali, Fritschberg, Brisgau. The changed names was very confusing. Nine's back, Augsburg. Why do you have to name everything so similarly? You didn't, but I'm going to take it as such. <laughs> all right. It looks like Tyrol is out of all of his war wars and he's had his ass kicked. Oh, um, Protestant Reformation's fired. And it's fired real close to me. And it's you, it'll take two years. Okay, so now I have my claim. Bohemia gets to call in all of his allies. Need to hold back, because we'll win individual battles. But we can't... Oh man, maybe I could just run for Prague? I don't know. Because he gets to call in all his allies, of which there are many. Alright, let's crack out the free company. And get going. The cat is attacking my light, so you might see them... Crashing down in a second. Get the Empire Army as well. Let's go in for it. We have to take this really quickly. <laughs> Fight Bradenburg as well. Whoa, don't attack my lights, please. That's going to be a good test to see how competent our army is. And it's a stack wipe. Okay. See if we can go after the Margrave of Brandenburg. I don't even know if they're a Margrave. They're probably a Duchy, but Margrave sounds cool. So that's a stack wipe as well. Another stack wipe. Clear Bohemia off of here. That was painful. A yadi. I don't really want siege ability. I kind of want fort defense. But I'm going to go for siege ability anyway because it's not my nature to turn up anything that favors offense. That's a three star general we got to get rid of. Okay, rest for a little bit. Issue is we're going to need quite a few stack pipes and that is not a stack wipe. We need Augsburg stad, not Augsburg. So he's a free city, so he doesn't have any other provinces. Okay, this gives us a chance for some respite whilst we wait for them to turn up. All right, my little buddy's gone. I don't want to piece this guy out because that's kind of our war score. Save our little buddy and hopefully get rid of this three-star general because he's going to be tricky. Take out Augsburg or Schaumburg. Another stack wipe. Oh my god. How many men have we killed? About 80,000. We were like, this used to be 70,000. That's a lot of people dead. Minus six, it's so far away just because the sheer amount of numbers. The stack wipes upon stack wipes do help the cause. Do you get the integration? That's nice. I'd love to get war taxes, but if I select this, then it'll crash my game. <laughs> Someone else could attack Bohemia. This would be wonderful. He has a three star. Okay, so I have a plan. It's not a good plan. I'm gonna rush Prague. <laughs> we should be able to win this pretty quickly. I'm tempted to assault it, you know. I'm not, you know, I'm not even look over there. Okay, we're gonna lose Hoch and Low. So I, I reckon we piece them out. Uh, give me cash and war operations. They were definitely gonna get that back. Okay, there's the Siege of Prague. Mm? Minus 28, it's not too far off. And what about, let's go through and clean up a little bit. All right, let's look to, okay, well, there's the Bohemian. Three-star general's horrible to fight against. He's a 4-6. To be fair, I'm saying that is also a 4-6. So I can't complain too much. Yeah, we'll take a thousand ducats. We lost 70,000 men. He, we personally killed 50,000 of his. Oh, Jesus. That's gotta be it, right? Negative four, please. Negative six. <laughs> Dude, to be fair, I was going bankrupt up until that point. I have no manpower left. Mercenaries have no manpower left. We've killed almost 100,000 men. We've also lost 60,000. Come on. Just, oh, negative nine. It's getting worse. Just stop. Go away. Go somewhere else. Uh, yeah, they've got nothing left, these two. So I need to get rid of them. I have been sending them into battle first, to be fair. 
Oh my god. Uh, let's go try and take a fort. Because we need more war score and the uh, way of getting it is not working. She keeps on going down. Anyone else want to leave? 6,000 men left. There's nothing I can do, really. Apart from just hold. Um, okay, I think I need to go and sit on individuals. They're so far away. I'm getting them out one by one. If I go sit on Berlin, would he peace out? <laughs> I get to four, All right? Who else can I get out of here? They're uh, just so spread out, man. Uh, this lot, probably. Gotta keep an eye on this fort, make sure it doesn't fall. We do have that fort defense from that mission. We're just appearing out outside of people's gates, and they're like, yeah, take, you just, we're done with this. Oh my god, negative one. I can't get that. How about over here? Oh, jeez, I've just gotta wait. Um, what are your reasons? All right, just core it before. Oh god, the peasants. It's understandable they're a bit upset. We'll just core it. Hurry up. Two years. Oh, we're not going to survive this. We are not going to survive. Um, Grand Company. They don't have a leader, so we should be fine with just the Grand Company. Get garrison size. Yeah, sure. Okay, just hold on. Whilst, take, whilst we get our morale back. And look, none of you turn up, okay? To be fair, there is all small kind of rebels. Do I have a national arrest guy? No. <laughs> I suppose I don't need you anymore. You're with Denmark and Bohemia. I suppose Denmark is a thing, aren't they? Okay. I don't want to zoom out because it makes my head hurt. Spain is formed. That's fun. <laughs> Keep scrolling. Get in there. Like, I feel like we've done a good job until I... Scroll out. God, how much are we in debt? Don't look at that, late. I'm gonna get rid of a few of these. I'm not that far over my force limit. I'm not gonna lie, that war against Bohemia wasn't as hard as I expected it to be because they would just go for my forts. I'm rather pleased with how that one turned out. We are mildly damaged beyond reproach, though. Did they say they took over the Styrian debt? Take over my debt. I'm playing too much Victoria 3. I was about to say I'll owe you an obligation. That's not how that works. Uh, okay, let's go to Fuchsenstachenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now Swabia. Uh, we get a much better idea set. Aggressive expansion reduction, morale of armies, manpower modifier. What rank does that give us? It gives us the duchy rank as well. So we just randomly got increased. Excellent. I don't know if we can do a mission, but I'm not seeing it. Suppress the Bund, become Prince the Rus. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's on the cards here. I can't see suppress the Bundux anyway. I think it's meant to be over here, but my UI is screwing it up. You're getting taken out by France. What a pleasant way to end the video. Right, lads. Well, that was uh, Ulm into Swabia. Uh, it's nice to sort of zoom in and, and we'd like dominate our region and we have a force limit of, of 14 and, and we've done very well to get here. And then you, you scroll out a little bit, and well, we, <laughs> we're so small. Oh, but uh, Tunisia have formed the Frigia. So that's nice. <laughs> far, far, far out played. Well, I can hear my uh, computer making a very strange noise, so I think that's my cue to end the video there. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And otherwise, lads, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.